guys, so today I'm going to show you how to operate a Craftsman T110 tractor mower. So here's the steering wheel, here's the key ignition slot, any universal lawnmower key is going to work for this one. Here's the power setting, push it all the way up for choke if you want to start it after a long time or you want to guarantee it starts. Pushing it to maximum power can also ensure that, but if you want to make sure then push it to choke. I'll explain that later. Here's the um, speed switch or the gear switch and that can only be activated when you hold down the brake clutch pedal. Right now it's in the parking brake. If you can see it's at P. And it should be like that when the mower is off and not in use. Here is the transmission, forward, neutral, reverse. Right now it should be in neutral since it's the engine's off and parked. This is the um, blade height uh, lever. Right now I'm at the highest setting five. Lowest is one, but the recommended is three. And this lever over here, if you push it down like this, it activates the blades. You pull it back up to stop the blades, especially if you're going in reverse. Because I do not know what this button does here, but it might help for reverse cutting. I've tried it on this model and it didn't work for me. So anyway, that should be it about the mower uh, specs. It does have headlights in the front, if you can see here, and they automatically turn on when the ignition switch is on. So you need, once again, you need a universal lawnmower key. The, all types of lawnmower keys can work in this one. You just put it in, make sure you're at the proper position, and make sure your foot is on the pedal. This mower, it's a manual one, so it only has one pedal. Next, you push your power setting to maximum. I'm going to put it to choke so that I can ensure it starts. Right now it's a choke. Once the engine catches, you need to put it down to max power and make sure your gear switch is also down all the way to park. Turn it right, like two levels, and it should start up like a car. Also, if it doesn't start, make sure the battery is plugged in down at the back. If you can see here, that battery needs to be plugged in. Otherwise, it won't work. After I'll start it up, I'll lower the power to minimum so you can hear me talk about how to go forward and reverse. So let me start this thing up now. As you can see, I started up the engine and now I'm going to put it in reverse. So watch what I do after I disengage the parking brake. The parking brake is off. I'll set the power to maximum and now you can't hear me when I push it back.
activate the parking brake once you've uh, turned off the engine, which is like this. And if, before turning off the engine, make sure you're in neutral and that the power setting is at low and make sure the gear of the switch is also at the lowest point. I'll turn off the more right now, just like this. And there it's off. Push the brake all the way and slide it all the way to the bottom if you haven't yet to engage the parking brake. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment below, subscribe. And if you have any questions about the mower, I'll be happy to ask. Once again, this model is a Craftsman T110 manual. And I think this mower actually is a manual by default. And I don't think there's any automatic version. So once again, here's how the front looks. Here's where the debris comes out when the blades are active. Here are the rear tires, front tires once again. And this hook over here, it can be used when attaching a wagon or some other mulching or some other carrying accessory, which is what this mower is capable of. And before starting it up the next time, you can put it always, uh, keep it, leave it like this or just slide it all the way up. I'll keep it all the way up because I will have to start it again very soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.